Hi there, this is Dr. Aruna Tumala here. And today I have um, Miles. Um, I've been working with Miles since um, I think end of August, I, I think. And um, Miles came to see me because he was experiencing anxiety at that point in time and just wanted to document um, what we have done and the experience that Miles has had. And Miles is 10 years old and uh, Miles's mom is also here with us today. Go ahead, Miles. So, um, so yeah, um, I came here because I was experiencing anxiety about my brother. Um, a couple years ago, um, we were at school um, and uh, we lost my brother. Uh, like, he's, he's not dead, he's fine. But um, we lost him, uh, like we didn't know where he was. And he was little, he was like, maybe he's three years old, so three or four? Four. So it would have been two years ago. Um, and what happened was we lost him, and this was the first time. This was before I ever had anxiety. I was like doing normal stuff. I never had anxiety before. And then I lost him in the panic situation. Like my mom was freaking out, like, everyone was looking for him and he ended up being like down the street looking for us because he saw we left and it was horrible feeling it was and then i don't know like a couple days after we started by little little by little we started noticing that i would be like where's ravi where's ravi where's ravi and then it just became this overflow of um just Where's Ravi? And then that hurt because I would not do normal stuff for my age. Like I wouldn't go, like there's the after school program. And I was really into basketball at that time. And they had really good basketball hoops, but I wouldn't play it. I wanted to, but I wouldn't because my brother was gone. Like he was playing with his friends. So I had to watch for them. Maybe like sometimes we'd have to stay at the after school program for hour hour and a half maybe two hours even and i'll just be watching my brother not doing any normal stuff and that lasted for like a while like a while like years and it was like really really bad my brother he started not really enjoying my like he didn't really like me but he was little so of course it's but he didn't like me, uh, not because I was bad, but because I wouldn't give him any space. I would just always be watching him. Like, I would always have to be in the same room as him. Like, I didn't trust my parents to watch him or anything. It was just crazy, man. Mm -hmm. But um, then I came to here, and then I was like, we, I wanted, to, I would do anything. I At this, before I came here on the car ride, they were like, oh, I'm going to do a diet, and I was like, oh, it's going to cure me. The diet's going to be easy. Wrong. The <laughs> diet was, in the beginning, it felt like the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And yeah, it was. It, but at, once I started doing it, doing it, you could see the difference. Now, it's been only like three months? Two months? Three months. Almost three months. N I had never say, where's Robbie? Like, I haven't said, where's Robbie in like months. And when I do, I'm not nervous. I'm just like, huh, where is he? You're actually messing with your mom and asking that yeah, question. Yeah, I'm messing with my mom because yes. she's like, oh, you have anxiety. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so, yeah. But there was also sleep disturbances along oh, with Oh, yeah. Um, I would not be able to sleep. Um, It was horrible. I would be like, <sighs> could not sleep at all. But then and you'd wake up with yeah. every movement thinking yeah, someone like, would Robbie's going missing yeah. or someone in the family would be and missing. so the thing was my brother um would like since he was littler he would need my mom to just like lay down with him till he fell asleep just for a little bit or something and then when my mom was leaving I would usually be already peacefully sleeping and then I hear my mom creep out the room and like freak out you know like mm -hmm. freak out but now. My brother still needs that, but not really anymore. And when she goes, I don't care. She's just gone. I'm like, oh, I, I like I don't notice it. Like I, I 
when I'm getting into bed, my mom's at, sleeping with Robbie for a little bit. And then when I wake up, I don't know, she's like gone, gone to school because she's a teacher, really good art <laughs> teacher, <laughs> really good. Um, yeah, sweet. <laughs> so, so yeah, but and then yeah, the diet helps a lot. Like I do, I barely have any anxiety at all. So. And the, and you've been a real trooper with it. And I know that we we did discuss how it's going to change many of the things that you like to eat and yeah. enjoy. And you you haven't you've been a real good trooper about that. And now that you're better. We are talking about how we can reintroduce those foods again and to see where uh, whether your digestion can handle it, right? Mm -hmm. But the, again, the big message for you, Miles, was that it's not that you are having to, you're the only one that is not able to digest these foods, but that these foods themselves are made in such a way that it is harmful for almost all of us. Mm -hmm. It's just that you, your body began to react to it much more strongly than others. And um, Sabrina, do you want to talk about how this, how, I mean, you know, the whole experience of incorporating the sure. recommendations? I am just so grateful that we came. This was one of the um, blessings in disguise from the quarantine situation um, with COVID is that we spent every moment together. We realized how bad his anxiety was really affecting him and we had the opportunity to come here and take Dr. Chamala's um, recommendations and go home and have the time at home to really implement them very well um, and we because we were able to do that I mean we saw a difference right away in like four weeks and you know after him struggling for years I wish I would have come sooner I'm sad that I didn't, um, but I'm so happy that we have this new path to freedom and we didn't have to turn to medications or other things that could significantly impact him now and for future. Um, and it just feels good to finally be in charge of our health and know the right path to improvement and not just feel like a victim or powerless in this situation. Like we're, we're not at the mercy of other people um, telling us, you know, different things. We have all this information and all these new resources and a new path to follow where we can dictate whether or not these other things are going to affect our family. So it just feels really good in that way. Um, it is a significant lifestyle change, but it's something that we welcome considering how much improvement it's just given our family. I mean, our family was really terrorized by how much um, this was affecting Miles and his anxiety would then flow on to us and our relationships weren't um, thriving anymore because we were just so frustrated about, you know, the different things that were happening and his brother was frustrated with him and you know we were just kind of all at that level of frustration that now it's like we have our family back and we have peace like restored to our home and it feels amazing can i just say one thing sure this whole thing i've watched so many videos like this <laughs> like i've seen like the deep down like it's weird, <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Well, I mean, thank you so much for sharing. And I, I, you know, the biggest gratification that I have, I mean, besides the fact that you're doing so much better now, and I mean, you're cured from this anxiety I'm that you cured. struggled with. Yes. But the other uh, gratification that I have is actually in working with young people and really teaching you how to take care of yourself all the way into your future. For the rest of your life, you're going to take these lessons and learn how to take care of your mind body and soul mm -hmm. that's that is the most exciting thing for me yeah you should like come here if you're struggling with anxiety like, <laughs> it's really good i'm not even joking it's really good <laughs> and the food isn't that bad either right you enjoy yeah. it yeah it's like but when you start let me just tell you <laughs> i will pray for you when you start because i know how horrible it is but trust me trust me it gets better it gets better yeah 
You liked those pancakes that I oh, think no. they're... Oh, I still yes. eat them. Yes. My mom gets annoyed because I'm always asking for them, and she's like, no, it's not healthy for you, even though the pancakes are... Too really much of one, one thing. thing. Yes. There has to be variety. Yes. That's right. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, what is that? No. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, no. TV Animation. Oh, yes, no. <laughs>